Hey guys, let us solve some more puzzles on ages in this video. Get started with the first question. A is 2 years older than B, who is twice as old as C. If the total of ages of A, B and C be 27, then how old is B? So A is 2 years older than B. So I can write A is equals to B plus 2, who is twice as old as C. So B is equals to twice as old as C, so 2C. Now if the total of the ages of A, B and C be 27, so I can write A plus B plus C is equals to 27, then how old is B? So B is what? Let us first put this value of A in this equation. So we get A is B plus 2, so B plus 2 plus B plus C is equals to 27. So I have 2B plus C plus 2 is equals to 27. Now put B's value in this equation. So I get B is 2C, so 2B becomes 4C. So 4C plus C plus 2 is equals to 27. So 4C plus C is 5C is equals to 27 minus 2 is 25. Therefore C is equals to 5. C is 5, B is 2C. So B is equals to 2C. Therefore B is equal to 2 times 5. So B's age is 10 years. So option D is the right answer. Let us move on to the second question now. A man is 24 years older than his son. In 2 years, his age will be twice the age of his son. What is the present age of the son? Okay, let the man's age be X and the son's age be Y. So we have X and Y. We have been given the man is 24 years older than his son. So x is equals to y plus 24. In 2 years, his age will be twice the age of his son. So in 2 years, so it becomes x plus 2, the man's age. This will be twice the age of his son. So this will be equals to twice the age of his son, which is y. But after 2 years, his son's age will also be increased by 2. So twice of y plus 2. Now we have to find the age of his son, which is y's value. So put the value of x in this equation and get the value of y. So x is y plus 24. So we get y plus 24 plus 2 is equals to 2y plus 2 times 2 is 4. So we get y plus 24 plus 2 is 26 is equal to 2y plus 4. y goes to the right, 4 comes to the left. So we get 26 minus 4 is 22 is equals to 2y minus y is y. So y's value is 22. Therefore the present age of the son is 22 years. Let's move on to the third question. 18 years ago a father was three times as old as his son. Now the father is only twice as old as his son. Then the sum of the present ages of the son and the father is Okay, let the present ages of the son and father be x and y. Now, 18 years ago, the father was three times as old as his son. So, father's age is y. So, before 18 years, we have y minus 18 is equal to the father was three times as old as his son. So, this is three times. So, the son's age before 18 years is equal to x minus 18. So, we have this thing. Let's solve it y minus 18 is equals to 3x minus 3 times 18 is 54. So y is equals to 3x minus 54 plus 18 and that is equals to y's value is 3x minus 36. So we have y's value. Now let us see what else has been given. Now the father is only twice old as his son. So father y is equal to twice of x. So put y is equals to 2x in this equation and get the value of x. So 2x is equals to 3x minus 36. Put this 2x to the right hand side and 36 to the left hand side. We get 3x minus 2x is x is equals to 36. So x is 36, y is equal to 2 times 36. So that is equals to 36 times 2 is 72. So y is 72 and x is 36. We have been asked the sum of 
their present ages. So x plus y is equal to 36 plus 72 and that is equals to 108. So the right answer is option D. A person's present age is two-fifths of the age of his mother. After eight years, he will be one-half of the age of his mother. How old is the mother at present? Okay, let the person's present age be X and the mother's present age be Y. So the person's present age is two-fifths of the age of his mother. So the person's present age is X is equal to two-fifths of the age of his mother. So two by five of Y. After eight years, he will be one half of the age of his mother. So after eight years, x plus eight will be equal to one half of the age of his mother. So one half of y plus eight. Both are after eight years. How old is the mother at present? So we want to find out the value of y. So from this, we can calculate. Let's move this to, to the left. So 2x plus 16 is equal to y plus eight. And that is equal to 2x is equal to y minus plus 8 minus 16 is minus 8. So let's put x's value from here. We get 2 times 2y by 5 is equal to y minus 8. So this is 4y is equal to 5y minus 5 eighths of 40 is equal to 5y minus 4y is y is equal to minus 40 goes to the left it becomes plus 40. So plus 40. Y's age is 40. Therefore the mother's age at present is 40 years. The age of father 10 years ago was thrice the age of his son. 10 years hence the father's age will be twice that of his son. The ratio of the present ages is. So let the father's current age and the son's current age be x and y respectively we have been asked the ratio of their ages. So we have been asked x by y. Now the age of father 10 years ago was thrice the age of his son. So 10 years ago which means x minus 10 is equals to thrice the age of his son. So thrice y minus 10. Now let's see what else has been given. 10 years hence father's age will be twice that of his son. So x plus 10 is equals to twice the age of his son. So y plus 10. Now let us evaluate this expression. We have x is equals to 3y minus 30. This 10 goes to the right. So plus 10. Therefore x is equal to 3y minus 20. We have x's value. We can put this here x is 3y minus 20 so 3y minus 20 plus 10 is equals to 2y plus 20. So we have 3y minus 2y so y minus 20 plus 10 is minus 10 is equals to 20. So y is equals to 20 plus 10 is 30. So y is 30 x can be calculated x is equals to 3 times 30 is 90 minus 20. So x's value is 70. We have been asked x by y. That is equal to x by y is 70 by 30. And the ratio is 7 is to 3. So answer is option B.